Let me just bump this. Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Live. Um, it's a it's a Twitch stream on twitch.tv slash Jarvis Johnson. Always be plugging. So cheers to you. Hello. Um I we boy do I have a treat for you. And by a treat, do I mean that I'm going to ruin your day? On our last installment of why do they keep creating AI to sing songs? Um Ethan Ethan with the five gifted. Thank you so much, my good sir, my kind sir, my young man, my young boy, my son. Um Okay, I I do want to I'll thank people once we get in the flow of things. I need to uh I need to Oh yeah. So <laughs> on the last episode of what they 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 did what now <laughs> of virtual influencer edition we looked at polar the the singer from five minute crafts the virtual um hatsune miku ripoff from five minute crafts most recently we looked at fn mecca a virtual rapper uh not created by black people that uses the n-word for some reason and that's where we still are today. The FN Mecca saga is developing in a direction that I did not expect. So to summarize the last video, which you don't have to watch to understand this, there's a virtual rapper in the sense that he is a 3D model and looks like a mobile game ad. And then they hire, they like Fiverr out another artist to make the song. Uh, I don't know who writes the song, but the person who performs it is a human and the people who write it are humans and AI is involved allegedly, <laughs> but I, I find that highly dubious. And due to a bunch of viral TikToks where the music is not in the forefront, it's really about this virtual character doing silly viral stunts, FN Mecca has amassed 10 million TikTok followers, and most recently, a record deal from Capitol Records, a real life record label. And uh, we we watched we watched a genius video about F and Mecca's creators. We found out that uh, they're not black, and we are experiencing some sort of digital blackface slash minstrelsy situation. But it somehow has gotten worse because. It came to my attention today. I was sent a tweet. I'm going to pull up the original tweet and then I'm going to switch my screen. I was sent this tweet. In this tweet, oh, let me let me fix my overlay real quick. And then I got to put my face on the screen. Some of you are getting ahead of me, which is okay. Yeah. Um, oh, this is going to bother me. I need to like, make my background darker. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so I was... I was sent a tweet where this user said, nothing shocks me anymore. And it is a visual of Effin Mecca, our digital rapper who looks very light skinned here, uh, though he does say the N word. So we're to presume he's black. Um, being brutalized by a police officer, <laughs> a, a real depiction of police brutality. That is a real thing. That is a real epidemic in this country um but it's also happening in the multiverse uh, <laughs> effin mecca writes police brutality angry face injured emoji what should i do this guard keeps beating me with his baton because i won't snitch i ain't no rat rat emoji life in prison is so depressing i wish i could get 
out so I could start making fire music again. And this, the first thing I thought was, oh yeah, he fully posted this and I can believe that a hundred percent. The second thing, you know, it's like, I have a, a I want to have a little bit of integrity, not a journalist here, but as a, as a creator online, I feel like I have a responsibility to like, look into these things and determine whether or not they're real. So that set me on a search before I got really upset. I was like, is this a well done parody? Um, so I did a little Googling. I went to FN Mecca's Instagram. Of course, his Instagram is private. Private Instagram. I went to his tags on Instagram, which are public. I ended up finding a few things here and there. Um, like I went through the tags, I saw that around and, and don't look over here. <laughs> uh, if this is in the video, we're going to cut that out. Um, I looked at F and I looked at F and Mecca's tags and I found that there was a little bit that they were doing at the time where F and Mecca was in jail and he was wearing the same outfit. So the model looks right. He's wearing a prison jumpsuit where it says prisoner in quotes. I don't know if that's, you know, you're like a fate. You're not really a prisoner. <laughs> it's a joke. Um, Yeah. He was like, he was lifting in the, in. Yeah. So I saw a few things and I was like, okay, well this seems troublesome. This seems troubling. Maybe it was just deleted. But because the account was. But because the account was pub. But because the account was private, I wasn't able to see what current posts were there. So I follow requested on one of my alt accounts. I also follow requested on my main account thinking surely they won't accept me. <laughs> uh, and then. And then someone, let's see. I want to see if I can find what I actually saw. Wait, how do I see my mentions? Notifications, mentions. Oh, maybe this isn't. All right, let's, let's go back. Um, so, uh, anyway, so I requested him and lo and behold, he accepted my friend request, but when I scrolled, I still couldn't see, I still couldn't see the post. I also had friends who had gotten accepted as well. And they were sending me screenshots of the grid and we weren't seeing this post anywhere. I... I just DM'd F and Mecca. I was like, what do I have to lose? So I sent a screenshot. I, you know, obviously I'm undercover as someone who does not hate F and Mecca. I said, fam, what happened to this post? And he said, I'm released now. Hold zero hate. I'm a changed robot. Wow. Character development. They also responded fast. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um, and then I said, happy to hear it. Well, welcome back. And I'm and in the moment, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have been so nice. But obviously, I wanted to get a response, right? Turns out that this was the right move. Because immediately after this interaction, Effin Mecca followed me back on Instagram. Uh, I don't know if it's, I don't know if my notifications are trash. Um, but lo and behold, F and Mecca followed me. So, so when I went to, 
change robot like be serious for real so so the first thing i did was i started scrolling down and then as i got further and further down the feed i realized that i was seeing posts that i couldn't see before and there were just more and more posts and i was like am i going to see the post i'm seeing when he had 7 million 6 million we're going back further further back in time further back in time we've got photos we've got videos do 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 oh there's some stuff we're going to talk about and lo and behold we get to the jail era we get to the breakout era and there it is the real actual fucking post it's still up it's actually here It's still up. It's still up. So. This. I. Look. I know what you're thinking. Jarvis, are you trying to cancel a fake virtual influencer? No, I don't. I don't know. I just think that they should address this, you know, especially, especially if, um, the, the character is, is co-opting all of black culture and all, all just like it's co-opting everything because it's a fake person and it's, and they're also co-opting every social movement and just, you wait, just, you wait, like, the like we're gonna look through we're gonna look through the um instagram posts on the stream um that's what i want to do actually because i think that I, so when i took dipper to the to the vet i was sitting on this going i need to share this with people so i went and i screenshotted every single post on the account um but what i want to do is i want to stream and i want to go through every one of these posts in the event that they get deleted in the future, because I feel like they should have to answer for this. So yeah, that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, yeah, these comments, I don't even, I don't even know. Um, can't your friends bail you out with all that money? Ew, Jesus Christ, these comments. Oh, also content warning. Content warning, by the way. The stuff in here is going to be bad. Um, is this... Oh, are these the only comments on this post? I guess so, because it's 6,000 likes. Okay. So... Uh, we're going to go through every post on the Instagram. I mean, let's start from the beginning. So the account, as I understand it, has always been, um, has always been private. I think that, um, I think that when they started, cause I went in the way back machine and very early on, even when they had fewer followers, they were like, um, we're private. We're only accepting a hundred K like get in early. Like that was the whole thing. So I think that was their like growth strategy on Instagram. I think drew even made a video about this like ages ago about like going private being a growth strategy. Um, so this is the inaugural post on the Instagram. I'm effing Mecca. I'm coming for y'all. Music dropping soon. Follow me. Now, to this day, I only know of three effing Mecca songs. Do we know if there's more than three? Um. Uh. Oh, this one's in Leet Speak. 
my tats be on some other shit. Name another rapper who has better. Who does this appeal to? Who sees this and goes, that's my man. That is my dude, Evan Mecca. With the lead speak? Like, what year is it? <laughs> like, seriously. Um... Oh, we're still in lead speak era. Just finished designing some custom Air Max 90s. Which colorway would y'all rock? Hashtag Cloud Gang. Hashtag SoundCloud Rapper. Okay, so is there an FN Mecca SoundCloud? Seven thousand followers. I don't understand. Like, this feels like such a such a sham you know what i mean like it's a musician with three songs in three years does that make any sense to any anyone what is the end game that's what i'm saying like i mean i guess the end game is the record deal the 10 million uh tiktok followers then brand deals from that you know like and I think there's like a good angle to get brand deals because they can, they can, um, they're really good at getting views on TikTok. Um, whoops. All right. Oh, yeah. They were, Watley, great call. So they also were selling NFTs. And I think at some point they're talking about their NFT in one of these, in one of these, um, posts. So, uh, just finished. Yeah, this is the custom Air Maxes. Also, there's a lot of brands being used. Like, um, like I, you, I mean, I, you can you. At what point? Okay, so here's a question: At what point can you use someone else's, um, uh, someone else's copyright, someone else's intellectual property? At what point can you use someone's? Like, what is the limit of using someone else's intellectual property? Because Evan Mecca is using Pokemon. He's using Dragon Ball. He's using, like, literally everything. Um, Yeah, up until the cease and desist. Yeah, pretty much. I love my hand upgrade. Oh, so did he not originally have that hand? Oh, does the side of his head say kamikaze? Oh my god. Am I the best dressed rapper? That's one of his things. He talks he talks about um he does fit checks a lot. <laughs> Bought me a pair of leather Louis Vuitton Mac 10s for 50 grand. Would you guys buy these CSGO skins, Gucci? Like, it's just like everything by it's like the hype beast aesthetic or whatever. It's like everything viral, everything popular, everything viral. It's like, um, the cult, the culture of Boulder AI. Rare watermelon vape shirt. My man in the metaverse, you can copy any and everything. Glow gang. He's got the chain that goes around his shoulders. Does anybody wear a chain like this in real life? Does FN actually stand for Fortnite Mecca? No, it stands for um uh it's the name of the his record label. I can't remember the name of it though. Do you does you, it, they said it in the genius video? Do y'all remember? It's like uh something future this is like a quiz <laughs> um okay now it's going to bother me yeah f virtual record label factory do that's what fn mecca stands for um all right I just bought. Look at this shit, man. This dude is crazy. 
an all leather Gucci wrapped Lambo. Oh my god! Dude, what are you doing? Yo, guys, look at this. <laughs> what are you doing, Effin Mecca? <laughs> Effin Mecca, don't shoot up your all Gucci Lamborghini. Tattoo contest. Oh, fuck. Lol, I'm fucking confused. Is this real or made up? Can't say fake. Close up of my leather wrapped Gucci Lambo. <laughs> They're like, that isn't real. But everyone knows the. What do you guys think of the new Air Vapor Max cactus plant? Like, like they do this so much. And I'm like. They're gonna get an indie or a um uh uh oh my god cease and desist at some point a leather wrapped car sounds gross yeah yeah he's got to make everything Gucci like it's so weird <laughs> there's no sound. They want to be gorillas so bad. Yeah, we're not. We're never talking. Yeah, it's all clickbait. They gorillas get mentioned never when they're talking about these virtual influencers or virtual like artists. Um, they won't get a C and D. The entire thing is a marketing ploy to begin with, a marketing ploy for them. But they're not cutting a check check to Nike. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, if they're if they're profiting and the brands that they're leveraging aren't, then that's a problem and if they are if they are um profiting from the brands and not disclosing it then that's a fcc violation so it's like one or the other right um getting some tattoos getting some tattoos done what should i get tatted on my chest this is so there's like a whole narrative, by the way. There's a whole narrative to him. I just bought a bust down Fortnite chain. <laughs> Guess how much it cost me? Well, I don't understand that. Like, he's like, what does he expect people to say? Oh my god, it, it did it cost you a million metaverse bucks? <laughs> like what like what are people supposed to say? Do, do, do they think people think this is real? <laughs> I make way too much money from rapping. What should I buy with all my money? This man does not have a song out at this point. <laughs> like I still think they've only made three songs. <laughs> Guess how much it cost me, my guy, you opened Blender. My guy, this is Maya. <laughs> my man, that is a render. Um... Oh, wait, what were the comments? Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo. All right, wait. Just say for emergencies. There's no emergencies in the metaverse, Kenji. You did not make a song. Am I am just saying that money looks fake. Hold on. Is this a child? Is what? Is that dude real? WTF, he looks fake. What? What? People, what? <laughs> Are these real people? Yeah, it's gotta be kids. It's gotta be kids. You haven't even made a song, though. Yeah, exactly. This whole thing, dude, this guy is, he's the whistleblower. This whole thing fake. 
fake ass. <laughs> it's like, oh my, you got him. <laughs> Get his ass, say J Digital. This dude's a clown ass with his fake ass effing mecha head ass. <laughs> This is this is when F and Mecca is talking about the haters. This is who he's talking about. Um. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, Yo that's, that's crazy. crazy. Like, this is so fun funny to me. Like, it's no surprise that this kind of thing goes viral on TikTok. I'm the most talented rapper on Earth. Earth emoji. Who told them that they should be using emojis? You know what I mean? Who told them that every post should have all these emojis going on? Yeah. I mean, this is pretty much the whole... This is the whole F and Mecca, like, aesthetic. Supreme everything. Guess how much I spent for my toilet? 256 gigabytes. <laughs> That's a funny answer. This fake as fuck. I, I love the fact that there are people who feel the need to say it's fake to a virtual influencer. That's it's the funniest like retort. This is so fake. Wait, can I use the arrow keys? Oh, I can. That's huge. All right. Who has the best drip? Me or Lil Uzi Vert? Oh, that reminds me of uh, something that he did. He has Char he's he has Charlie D'Amelio in some of um in some of his TikToks and it's like you you just photoshop yourself into this <laughs> and you're like pretending it's a collab. Of course we all remember when F and Mecca was on the cover of GQ. Interview with the man of the month. Guide to Success making hit SoundCloud songs. Still has never posted a song. What's with your jaw, bro? Finally get to see F and Mecca without his mouth guard. Yeah, he cleaned up. He cleaned up for the GQ shoot. He, ain't, he got no music, though. Why is this thing oddly very attractive? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but but hmm. <laughs> They're like I I shouldn't, but ooh. <laughs> but hey, what's good? Is that a supreme tie? Um is this actual living person? I'm so confused. That's so funny. Um, making too much money means I don't got time to wine and dine, so I got to get that fast food. What's your favorite fast food joint? You're, you're a robot. Why are you eating? <laughs> Someone called him a big ass toy. These roasts are actually pretty funny. Um, highly whack. Wait, whoa, F and Mecca signed with Capitol Records. What? Yeah, exactly. That's that's um why why we're here. Uh because this is now this is getting out of hand. Even um Yeah, it's it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. Um He looked like a Fortnite character. Fan art. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right, we've we're beginning the jail arc. All right, it's time for the F and Mecca jail arc. <laughs> Ain't no way you're simping for the NFT Mormon blackface rapper. 
Yo, don't don't forget about virtual. Um Jenna Helen, thank you for the tier one. Alright, so he, homie, homie's in jail. Yo, I just got arrested? <laughs> Yo. He's like there he's taking his fucking mugshot. And they're like he, he's like, yo, can I can I hit this for the gram? Yo, I just got arrested? I'm innocent. I'll be back soon. To all my fans, please repost this. Tag your friends. Spread the message. No one did any of that. Let's look at the free mecha hashtag. Okay, that's a real person. Oh, there's the post. Okay, so it looks like... It looks like no one posted the free mecha uh, hashtag. How did you get to jail? You didn't do anything. Um, you have no life, so you go animate someone and act like it's yours. So this person's roasting the people behind FN Mecha? That's Galaxy Brain. Um... Why did you get arrested? And is the guy on the picture you? Or is it made from a PC? Yo. Yo. Is that a real man? These are the questions. I don't know, guys. All right. Let's see what the next post is. They, <laughs> I love that he went to jail where they, like, print him a custom effing mecha prisoner suit. I can't wait to get out of jail. Got to catch up with these shorties. Is this real? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't mean to like that. Is he real? The fuck? I love that you just Photoshop him into a photo with another person and somebody's like, wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Is this man real? Um... I like how they say the girls aren't there in their reflection when like, I mean, yeah, that's kind of true, actually. Um, is he real? Is he real? So, oh God. Okay. Yeah. So he made, he made a classic drop the soap post. And of course it's Supreme or Supreme. This is like fucking the worst shit. So this is like a hella homophobic post for those who aren't aware um the yeah 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 let's joke about like sexual assault yeah exactly it's like homophobic and it's making fun of sexual assault in prison yeah um so, I mean, it's very current. It's very current joke. It's not a tired 100 year old hack joke. <laughs> um, the only friend I have in jail is the guard dog. His Instagram is private. Yeah, it's private. Um, what should I name him? Free Mecca, cute dog, Brutus. <laughs> um, Lil Mecca. This fake. The dog has bulbous eyes. Imagine looking at this and going, hmm. I don't know if the dog is real. <laughs> I'm a little curious about the dog. I'm yeah, I'm starting to get a little suspicious of this effing Mecca guy. 
or specifically his dog brutus does that mean he accepted you yeah we're we're friends on instagram we're we're mutuals now for for how long i don't know well so that's the whole thing I do not know how long I will be allowed on Evan Mecca's Instagram, so I am capturing this for the public record. <laughs> and that's what we're doing here today. Because cause he's private, and so these posts aren't anywhere. And I need people to know how awful they are. Oh yeah, someone said not after they find your video. So as soon as he accepted me, I deleted my Instagram story where I was talking about him. Uh cuz I was nervous that they would see uh I was I was nervous that they would see it. <laughs> so I I I'm no longer self-promoting about my video cuz I I had to <laughs> I had to keep it on the low. I'm undercover. I'm undercover highly in public. <laughs> Look up anything about me and you will find out that I am making fun of you. Dude, I can't wait to be one of his ops. Why the guns? I think it's because clickbait. I think that, you know, it's it's like um, a gun. Okay, here's my theory. My theory is that, one, guns are easy to model in 3D. And they, li like, you, they can almost, like, look real. You know what I mean? So, I think that that, it, like, there's enough of a... It like takes a second, so it's like very clickable. It like you know helps grow the account. Whoa, man! Look at all that weight. Holy shit! How are you gonna even lift that thing? Oh, Mecca, you crazy! Damn, dude! Whoa, no way, man! This yo, no way! This is crazy! The, the guy behind the camera is so unenthused. Mecca, man, you crazy. Look at all that weight. How are you going to? Whoa, no way. Also, he goes from <laughs> he goes from doing a normal like. Bench press to doing it one handed and then throwing it up and the guy doesn't emote at all. Whoa. Whoa, oh, man. man. Look at all that weight. Look Holy at all shit. That How are you going to lift that thing? Oh, Mecca, you crazy. Damn, dude. Whoa, no way. Man, this. Yo, no way. This is crazy. Whoa, whoa, no way. This is crazy. Is that effing Mecca? Strongest rapper in jail? Guess how many pounds I'm lifting? This this guy said forty thousand. Wait, wait, no, four million. Oh, that's four hundred thousand. Sorry, he said forty thousand. Wait, no, four million. Fuck, I said the same thing twice. Wait, let me let me repeat that. <laughs> this guy said uh forty thousand. No, wait, four hundred thousand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this person said 100 or 1 in the metric system. Wait, this is 1 in 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 Europe. Are you trying to flex for real cuz it's not working? Whoa, no way. This is cr like this. DoorDash delivering food to prison? What this is in such bad taste, pun intended. It's in such bad taste. And then also th look at how many brands this is. DoorDash, KFC, McDonald's. And like this this is just not, you know, this is all none of this is sponsored. He's just like using all these brands. And it's like it's whatever, but He's pri he's private, so it's not like this is a brand deal. Like nobody saw this. It's a mobile game ad. Yeah, sponsored by Doctor Squatch. Yo, maybe I have a Doctor Squatch sponsorship coming up. Maybe.
Maybe I have maybe I have some Dr. Squatch next to me right now. Sent me sent me this post of us work who's this? I don't want to put anybody else on blast. I'm just curious who this is. This is an artist. Okay. It, or not an artist. This is a ver, another virtual influencer? Oh god. I don't have the time for this. This guy appears in both 3D and in 2D. His last post was in 2021. Um. Oh, God. Sorry. I, I got whiplash from that one. I wasn't ready. I forgot that he was in jail still. I forgot we were still in the jail arc because there's another arc that I'm excited to show you. And by excited, I mean, I I'm worried about. So we're going to skip past that one. Okay. So we're, you know, we're back in jail. Shh. Secret escape tunnel behind my toilet. Should I escape or serve my time? Life has been really tough in prison and it really has my anxiety kicking in. Because everyone is trying to shank me. I fear for my life. Like, this is so <laughs> upsetting. This is so fucked up. This is such trivia. This is such like trivializing. There's so many things wrong with this. Um, like, for example, who took the photo? Um, I feel we need to go back one. What? Wait, we already spent, we already talked about that one. That's the one we've spent a lot of time talking about. I mean, you might be new to the stream. This is like, this is where we started. For the record. So I guess if you're new, then we, we'll, we'll look at this again. This is, this is the worst one. This is the worst one. So for context, this is what I tweeted about. So if you go to my Twitter, I tweeted about this this morning. And I ended up here because I was trying to confirm whether or not this was real. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, the caption's very, very bad. So non-black people made a black avatar to say the N-word, get beaten by police, and be in jail. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, so that's why I didn't spend too much time on this because, uh, we've spent a lot of time talking about this one already, but if you're new, then you didn't, you may have not seen that. Um, okay. So this continues the jail arc. Um, Yeah, the I feel like does the record does Capitol Records know about this? Again, not trying to cancel the virtual influencer. This maybe this is what they signed up for. Um these these things happen in real life. Seems like they're turning real social issues into a trope rather than a movement. Exactly. I mean, that's the whole thing. All of this is for clout. It's it's exploiting it's exploiting real issues and real situations for clout. And it's not even a real person. You know what I mean? So that's, that's like, you know, one of the many reasons that this is bad. Cancel is the wrong word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Delete, I think is the word that we're looking for. <laughs> um, this is textbook commodification of black pain. Ah, that's very well put. That's very well put. That's very, very well put. Oh, right. Okay. I, I haven't seen this video. I've been... I've been saving this. The 
the the animation this is like the worst the animation has ever looked this is the most generous representation of 6 9 I've ever seen. Oh, and I paused it while he's choking him out, lifting him up with one hand. Also, did 6 9 They're just using 6 9s likeness, right? Like, this isn't... 6, six 9 didn't approve this. 6 9 would have a poster of himself in his jail cell. This looks like a shitty mobile game ad. It absolutely does. Why is this choreographed like a movie fight scene? Yeah, right. They're not even hitting each other. Wait, what did the... Before I escape jail, I gotta teach this rat a lesson. What do you guys think of 6 9 now? Like, they're hyping... They're hopping on every trend. It's like, people are talking about how 6 9 is a snitch. I'm gonna do that. You know what I mean? Like, we're about to walk through every social trend of the last two years by going through this person's... Uh, Sorry, this virtual person's instagram he just came up to fight him for no reason no the reason is he's a snitch six times a snitch and so he's got get virtually beaten up by a virtual guy um holy shit i finally escaped prison where should i go hide i was a multi-millionaire just a couple ago but i was sentenced to 69 years in jail fuck that because I'm a wanted fugitive, the police freezed my bank account. I'm broke. What should I do? This is so ridiculous. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 69 years in jail. Nice. Who took the picture? All the pictures are on self-timer. Um, Isn't it froze? Yeah, there's a couple of... Uh, there's a couple of grammatical errors here. There's a missing word. I was a multimillionaire just a couple ago. A couple what? <laughs> you know? Um, what a dingus. We all know it's spelled froze. Yeah, the police froze my bank account. His jumpsuit says prisoner in quotes. Yeah, exactly. This was three years ago. Yeah, this is 2019. They should put him in Fortnite. Fuck, I keep liking things. The grammar is the smallest issue. No, it's the most important thing. Let's focus on the grammar. Also, the fact that he, like, censors fuck and then includes, like, all of the stuff on this account. I found these cars parked nearby the prison. Which one should I take? <laughs> Imagine he's trying to escape prison. And he's like, ah, choice, <laughs> decisions, decisions. I ought to hit up my Instagram fam and ask them. <laughs> ask them what. <laughs> it's like Dora the Explorer, but for a prison escape. Which one should I take? <laughs> oh. He got this is the most interesting spelling of chased I've ever seen. <laughs> Sorry, I liked it again. Um, it's like the piece of furniture. He got chased. Um That's GTA, and that's GTA five. GTA, GTA. You can see about 15 police cars behind. Could he be getting off? Wow, he's getting off the freeway here. Yo, the and graphics uh, look terrible. Decrease now. I, I have not seen this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. High speed chase. Yeah, I was just thinking about F and Mecha Bingo. Like, he just doesn't have enough posts. Yo, it's he's he's escaping in a Hot Wheels. 
was this option even <laughs> yeah gta rp server looking crazy right high speed police chase wtf should i do right after i stole the mercedes the police immediately knew where i was did one of my followers report my location to the police it is Dora the Explorer. Did one of my followers <laughs> report my location to the cops? That's right. They did. Um, <laughs> no, they. Wait, 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 wait. I love that he's like, did one of my followers report my location when his previous post was like, I'm currently escaping <laughs> the jail and and I am choosing one of these cars. Which seat should I take? It's Friday. Um, <laughs> imagine if this is all a long advertisement for Lily's Garden. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um. Is is one of my followers a fucking narc? Um, did one of my followers report my location to the police? I think we have a rat inf infestation. Anyways, thanks to this rat, I'm. It, anyways, thanks to this rat, I'm America's most wanted. My anxiety is kicking in hardcore. This is the second time that this fake person has talked about their anxiety. I don't want to hear it. But however. But however, I'm enjoying the clout the news is giving me. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> what? Yeah, wait, how long between these posts? So this is August 1st and this is July 28th. So, so three days. You can see about. Do we know what he was arrested for canonically? No, I don't think so. Virtual anxiety is too much. Can you see the fucking snitch? Yeah. Um, the iconic Rebecca Black should not be mentioned in the same breath as Evan Becca. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I, I wasn't sure if anybody would catch that. Um, anyway, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. To all my fans, I promise you, I am innocent. Please spread the word, tag your friends, and just spread the message. I don't understand this when the account was private this whole time. The text ain't even scrolling the right way. Wait. 15 police cars. Oh, it's high. not. <laughs> Wait, look at the text here. It's scrolling backwards. And could he be getting off? Wow, he's getting off the freeway here. Uh, those <laughs> it just scrolled in reverse. Oh, that's fucking funny, dude. Um, Speeds will decrease now. And he's going to run for it. He's going to make a run. Fortnite World uh, Cup. We are your source for police chases. You can see about 15 police cars. That was funny. No, I keep clicking. Okay, I'm, I'm going to use my arrow keys. That's what I was supposed to do. All right. You can see about. We got the Hot Wheels news chase. Okay. Finally got rid of the cops. I secretly called up my drip dealer to bring me new drip. Guess how much I paid? Well, I paid a fuck ton. <laughs> With what money? Your bank accounts are froze. Um, he decided that he would charge me 3x the normal price just because I'm a wanted fugitive? What would that matter? It's like a cash deal, you would assume. Bro, we skipped a chapter. For real. This is four days later. What happened to censoring fuck? Yeah, he tried that once and <laughs> gave it up. I usually never complain about prices because I'm fucking rich. <laughs> but feds froze my bank account. Okay. Luckily, my homies in the FN gang hooked me up with the cash. As for the feds spying on my IG, let me live my life. <laughs> Maybe he needs virtual weed for his virtual anxiety. Yeah. This must be a video game or something. Wow, you got Jordans and labeled them airs. What a what a legend. Oh yeah. Bro got fake designer plot holes. Do you ever close your mouth? I just want to know. Oh, that's funny. Does he ever close his mouth?
I don't think he's censoring Cash. I think it's that he's trying to be cute. Someone tagged at Faze Jarvis. If they had tagged the correct Jarvis, moi, then I would have found out about F and Mecca ages ago. I'm confused. Is he real? <laughs> Cringe as fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> Three years ago. What do they use to see him? Wait, so does this person think that the F and Mecca is real, but you need like special glasses or something to be able to see him in the real world? Bro, this is Lambo. Bro, Mecca, you are killing it, my dude. Oh. Dude, I am obsessed with the people behind the camera. S Skull Trooper Lambo. Mecca, you are killing it, my dude. Why do all these people from the street know who he is when he has not released a song yet? Guess how much it costs? He always asks that. I'm about to meet up with Icy Cone and play Fortnite. Sadly, I'm still a wanted fugitive, so I'll be on the Fortnite binge until this blows over. The cops can come see me in on the fucking battle bus, yo. Oh my god, what do you mean? Can you imagine if somebody was like, "I'm a wanted fugitive, so I'll be on, for I'll be live on Fortnite until everything blows over." What do you mean blows over? The case isn't gonna close. <laughs> You're gonna be wanted the whole time. Isn't it like GTA where they like give up? <laughs> He's like, oh man, I've got five stars right now. I'm going to go back to the crib and play some Fortnite until this dies down. The comment saying, imagine the guy filming. <laughs> There's just a guy. It's like, yo. Evan Mecca, you crazy. And then people are like looking at him from this other side of the street. Like, is this guy, is this guy okay? What is he filming? And why is he yelling? Oh my God. <laughs> that is so sick. You know what'd be cool? I I kind of want to get to the point of success where like I pull up to a stop to a stop sign, and someone pulls out their phone to look at me, and then I just open my door and look at them. I'm just like, yeah, I'm famous. Wow. <laughs> Is that real? I always wondered if he's a real robot. Wait, is he wanted in the metaverse or wanted IRL? That's a great question. Because, like, Fortnite, he wouldn't be able to hide in Fortnite if he was wanted in the metaverse. Because the cops would just come to Fortnite. Maybe roll down your window instead of opening the door. No, I think I'll open the door. Okay, this is a mask giveaway. I love that they put film grain on the photos. Um, to make them look, I guess, like more real photos or something. That, that's like a real white man's hand, right? They like didn't want to animate this. And so they keyed out they they took a white man's hand and they they put a green screen on the phone and then they keyed out the thumb, right? Like that's what it looks like. You you know, because like you like see the 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 line around the yeah, this is green screen. 
Because their animation is not that good. <laughs> okay. So. Um, so Mecha is canonically 21 years old. He says, I'm very successful. And then, okay, I guess that was, he was looking at his profile and now he's swiping. And obviously, you know, he's like, Mia Khalifa, no. Belle Delphine, nah. This chick, I don't know who Brianna Rojas is, but he like matches with her. Um, why is your hand so purple at the bottom? Your hand is so wrinkled. How old are you? Holy shit. A human hand? Hmm. This man said no to Mia Khalifa. Idiot. Both his hands are in frame. How did he record this? Used his eyes. Oh, Bermuda is actually another virtual influencer. Okay. How to be a rich SoundCloud rapper. He's reading his own book. Books is the secret. Books is the secret to success. One proofread. The, they, I'm calling a flag on the play two words in. Books is the secret to success. Um, I wrote a book about how I became the richest SoundCloud rapper. In this book, I shared my seven daily habits to fuel me for success. I mean, this is no, uh, this is no less real than the people who are actually doing this. Oh, someone called him out for the grammar. It's weird because I looked up F and Mecca on SoundCloud and only one song showed up. Yeah. You don't even have one song out. Man built like a Fortnite skin. Why I have no real friends. Okay, number one, I'm a computer is the correct answer. Who are my real friends? Everyone keeps calling me fake. Some haters are even telling me to off myself. Why are y'all hating so much? I just created a, oh, this is the origin story. I just created a TikTok and I must admit this app is the funniest app I ever used. It really helps me blow off some steam from y'all negative energy. Man, he's about to enter his TikTok era and he's about to start blowing the fuck up. Dude, we knew him before he was famous. <laughs> By the way, you're not ugly. You're cool as hell. I wish I looked like that. F and Mecca fan. What are they up to now? I imagine there's not much to do if you're an F. You know, F and Mecca is posting a song like once a year at this point. First date ever. How to avoid the friend zone. Yo, this is weird. Ew, what the fuck? This is, this is, this is gross, dude. This is gross, man. I need to seal the deal. So any advice will help. Bro. Man. Dyed my hair, gas or pass. Are you an animated drawing? Are you real? <laughs> oh my god, someone did just say fake bro off yourself. Yo! 
Chill out. <laughs> Chill out, Callum. It looks so bad. Why do y'all still use... This is what I mean. This is He's just like a culture vulture. He just jumps on anything. Why do you still use plastic straws? Sea turtles are now an endangered species because you guys are polluting the ocean with your plastic bullshit. FFS, buy a hydro flask or paper straws. Whatever, just quit being a plastic douchebag. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag save the sea turtles. Bruh, what is this fucking shit? And there's there's Gucci Gucci sea turtles. Save the Gucci sea turtles. Damn, bro. Why they couldn't have made you jacked with no titties? What the hell does that mean? Oh, so it said okay boomer. Imagine saying okay boomer to an AI, <laughs> to a virtual man. Why do people hate clowns? <laughs> clowns bring joy and laughter to this world. But all y'all do is hate. Stop being so racist. Clown lives matter? No way! No way, dude! What? Wearing the Hatsune Miku jacket? Yo! Dude, I feel like you never know what you're going to get. You're never going <laughs> to... You never know what you're going to get with this guy. Wow. What possessed him to do... Him. Like, wh in what world does this post make any sense? <laughs> you know what I mean? Your computer audio is a bit loud. Oh, I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, yeah. Why is sound source not loading for me? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll say it again. The creators of F and Mecca need to be investigated. I don't know what for, but they need to be investigated. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God, that's so loud. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a, who has the best fit. And then, of course, everybody's going to say Mecca has the best fit. Because the other people are real. Um, I'll drop a song for $100 billion. Spam money if you want some music. One person. <laughs> Literally one person wanted music. And then he has a hairless cat, of course. Um, <clears throat> Instagram is a shit platform. Well, aren't you in luck? I just, I just filmed a video. Let me see if I can. I just uh, filmed a video called Instagram hates its users. <laughs> That's for the main channel. Hopefully that'll be out this maybe at the end of this week. Um Jarvis, how are you streaming on a MacBook Pro? I'm not. I'm not streaming on a MacBook Pro. 
dropping a track soon. Oh, finally. Bruh, do you even have nails? <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. No, actually. I'm going back to school tomorrow. Uh, good luck. This is what toxic... Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Who did I just roll over? I just rolled over like a virtual influencer. Who is that? Or who I thought was a virtual influencer. Okay. Anyway, your project pretty cringe though. This man is so fake. People worried about your fingers. My hands are huge as shit for my age. I'm only 13, LOL, and my hands are bigger than most adults. This is actually how my hands look. Aw. Poor, poor kid. Your hands are just fine, man. Dude, I can't hear anything. Is there music? No, there's no, there's no audio playing. Oh, there is, there is music playing. Oh my God, what is the audio levels? I don't understand. I can't win. Oh, yeah. Who should I draw next? Is Zendaya gas or pass? Come on now. Do not. Do not. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I'm I, I'm concerned about these comments, but okay, no, the comments are fine. Someone just said fake. <laughs> like the painting or the F and Mecca. Oh right. Why do you hate me so much? Some of you are even threatening my life. I'm just trying to live my life. Do you haters realize how much impact your words have? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. This is so funny coming from a fake man. You're fake. You're fake. You're fake. If I ever find you, I'm going to off you. I don't care if it's public. You're you're making a mockery of rap. This does this man even have a song out at this point? Um. Jesus, this is this is such an extreme DM that absolutely did not happen. And if it did, this is a virtual person, so it doesn't mean anything. The last message is so intense. And they censored things out where you can clearly read that it says gun. So help me God. You are real. Oh, right. I wanted to read these comments. You're on fire dope AF. They are hating. They are hating you need those around to remind you. That you are on the right track. They are fake, hiding behind the keyboard. You are dope. You're real. No, don't doubt it, because you have a lot of money and keep saving up your money to get me more and more stuff. Haters, F them. Stop bullying, stop bullying Mecca. Let him live his life.
Oh, so here's the here's the wilderness era of uh, of Ep and Mecca. I'm done with all the negativity. I decided to give away all my cash and go on a journey to the wilderness. Toxic people on social media keep telling me you're fake, but guess what? I'm realer than all you toxic kids because I actually put my phone away to embrace nature. He's going to find himself. Cottagecore era, yeah. Um, Maka, I assume this. I assume they meant Mecca. I I have to assume they meant Mecca. Maka, I'm saying some strong words for that. You, oh, I liked it. Gosh, dang it. You really proved haters that you are real, and I like it. You really did it. You really did what you had to do to stop these haters. Now they haters trying to think that they want to like you again. It's not happening, Mecca. Completely different spelling. Also wrong. <laughs> Those are some strong words. Do you did a good job. Nice job, Mecca. I appreciate how you did those haters. <laughs> Voice to text 100%. Yeah, true. Um, do you reply to every comment? Like, literally, I see no replies. Man, you're not a robot. He is trying to live his life. So let's... So, so let him, guys. Stop hating. Also, one, he's an AI. So none of this matters. Two, these comments would not prevent him from living his life. <laughs> Takes a picture of himself walking. I put away phone to go on a hike. Dude, he has a point. <laughs> he has a point. Who took this photo? He's like, I'm putting my phone down to do a photo shoot, actually, with my phone. Supreme, Gucci, or Bape? Everyone always hating on an ugly caterpillar, but one day he will evolve into a but butterfly. All the haters talking shit on me makes me sad. Oh, but these butterflies remind me that I too will evolve into a butterfly one day. <laughs> what? Even the butterfly is Gucci. Wow. Is he a robot in an AI world? I don't get it. No, I, I also don't get it. I'm not fully. I'm not fully sure. Like even in the metaverse, he's a robot. Found two fuzzy friends. <laughs> Why do you have to spell it like that? I found two fuzzy friends. What should I name them? All right, let's read the names. How long have we been streaming for? An hour and a half? Where's my phone? Let me just check my phone. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, man, uh, I got a DM from the guy who made the genius video, Jacques, who said that all the elements he had from the genius video are, are lost to the cloud. But I had some crazy shit. Their old stuff was super edge lordy. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. I want to, I want to, I want to see it. I want to see the stuff. Okay. He said he doesn't have it saved, so. Um, found two fuzzy twins. Okay. What are the names? Fred and Ted. You're creepy. You're in creepy. This is fake. I found the original picture. What? Wait, is there an original picture? Um, is it this? <laughs> yeah, there we go. We found it. We found it. <laughs> I didn't assume that it would be literally the first result, but, but we found it. That's very funny. 
What's the highest resolution one? Where is he at? Let me close this. <laughs> Dripless bears. These bears have no drip. That's so funny. Man's your chains defying gravity. Honestly, this guy's really annoying. What a narc. I it's always the first result when someone is lazy. Yeah, true. If they need Mecca's drip dealer, <laughs> yes. You want to hear a joke? Oh, yeah. Be careful, y'all. Don't be racist to clowns. <laughs> what whack-ass Photoshop is this? Wait, what did, he, what did somebody said? Wait, where is it? Did it not load? Or is it in a different order? Because someone said check. Oh, yeah. Check out my second recent post. I'm the Joker, too. This is why he did the no clown hate post. They were preparing for this. Clown lives matter. Don't forget. For those who don't know what we're referencing. Why do people hate clowns? Clowns bring joy and laughter to this world. But all y'all do is hate. Stop being so racist. Okay, so anyway, he's in the forest. Putting... Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, this is breaking my brain. What am I looking at? What is this? Putting this away for no nut no no nuts in November. Have you guys made it past day three yet? <laughs> wait. What the fuck? Yeah, like wait, 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 wait. This is is this a yeah. <laughs> Robo scrote <laughs> Robocock. Why does he have a fleshlight hand? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what this is. He's putting away his jerk off hand. It's either a hand attachment or it's for his dick. And in every situation, this is awful. Bro, go post online virtual animated bitches. Boy, oh. I guess I can say bitches. I don't know why I like <laughs> hesitated. Um, I don't like saying that usually. Uh, boy, go do this in person. Stop living another fucking reality. It's not real. None of this is. The work you put in should be into something else, like finding a career and getting a job instead of managing a fake persona on social media. Oh, this person is trying to give a talking to to the person who runs this account. Get yourself a girlfriend like all of us are going to do. Like all of us are going to do. <laughs> like we eventually plan to. Oh, God. I un... <laughs> Get a girlfriend like we all assume <laughs> we intend to. Um, Expand your life by doing other shit than working hard on content. Get it together, bro. Is that your dick? Um, I'm done with the woods. Going back to my hood. Yo, he is using the darkest emoji. I don't know. If, I don't know about that. Um. Mick. Thank you for the gifted. Um, going back to my hood. Can somebody give me a ride? My number is. Okay. All right. We're calling the number.
Um, my phone, my my actual phone is in the other room. This is my old phone. Uh, I'll be right back. My phone actually died, so I'm gonna charge my phone, and then you gotta remind me to make the call. Um, Effin Mecca is uh, he is on the song, yeah. So, oh hey, what's up? What's up, Sarah? All right, let's call the number six four six six two seven. So this is three years old, so I doubt it's still gonna work. Um, seven eight one nine. Damn. Yeah, it was for sure a Twilio number. Um, I did get through to a robot. Yeah, true. You ever tried pumpkin curry? Sounds kind of good. Um, I just hit you with reality, man. Oh, this is the same guy who said to, like, get a job. Oh, he's... This, this guy is commented three times it's so funny because he made this whole spiel about be your own guy blah 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 and then he commented two more times which kind of undercuts his whole thing about um living your life <laughs> uh jarvis have you ever eaten indian food i love indian food i love like north and south indian food um yeah or at least those are the only two regions of indian food that i've that i've had I, I, uh, I had Indian food. I like went to North India for like a wedding and, um, may the food slapped. It was so good. Oh gosh. Take me back. Nepalese food. I've never had Nepalese food. You know what I love is Burmese. There's this restaurant in San Francisco, uh, called Burma love. When I tell you that I was addicted to that place, I can dox it because I like I'm no, I like haven't been I like don't go to San Francisco anymore, really ever. Jarvis and ever no longer works. Yeah, we just called it on stream. So I said you and Lil Michaela should date. Have I ever had Rainforest Cafe food? No, I actually haven't. I was supposed to go to the first um the first stop of Eddie and Ted's Rainforest Cafe thing, but I missed um I had COVID. I had COVID when they started, so but I love Eddie and Ted uh very much. Oh, he's back in New York. It's also kind of sad <laughs> that he's just looking at Google Translate and having to read it to him. Believe in yourself when nobody else will. Because, okay, he's got to stop using the darkest skin emojis. Um, <laughs> as as this is not run by a black man. Um, because the fake people will try to bring you down. But the real ones will push you up. Traveling to the wilderness. Oh, he's had a whole, like, this is his, like, eat, pray, love moment. Um, traveling the world has taught me that real life... Wait, sorry. 
my ADHD. I got to read this. My siblings' boyfriend saw Eddie's Rainforest video and they literally went on a road trip just to try the Galveston one. I'm going to tell Eddie that. That's very funny. Um, I just saw, I just saw Eddie a couple days ago. What a good boy. Um, yeah, traveling the wilderness has taught me that real life exists real life exists in the real world hiding behind your phone is living your fake life this has got to be like uh, irony right or this has got to be sarcasm because it's like obviously you're a computer and we're watching a video of you listen to google translate tell you that you're real Yeah, the irony of preaching about hiding behind phones. Yeah. Oh, someone said I want to see him do a captcha. WTF is this? What do the words say? I'm just trying to buy some Gucci, but everyone be discriminating. That's this is pretty funny. Um, and then wait, where's the? Oh shit. um oh yeah Fuck. oh yeah so then uh he he proceeds to hashtag this robot lives matter so he's got to stop with that he's got to he's got to stop i just want to reiterate that he's clearly a cyborg and not a robot i agree dapper warlock but i haven't seen his insides Jarvis, you have contacts in right now or are you just not wearing your glasses i'm just not wearing my glasses which i've been uh i've been flirting with danger for a couple of weeks um because i haven't had many eye strain issues until i um was using the smaller phone and then it definitely came back because i have all my texts and stuff blown up um Hello. Okay, so where are we? We're still in 2019. I think he posts a lot less frequently um, in the future. Okay, Boomer. Oh, we have to... Oh, we're, we're going to have a moment pretty soon. We're going to have a moment. Oh, he's posting his new song. This is when Moonwalking, the song we all love, came out. Then this is the classic. I used this photo in my thumbnail. This was used in the genius video. Um, how old are you, bro? It's 21. This hoodie lid or what? Got hooked up early before the drop. I guess he did some stuff with FaZe Clan. Wait, 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 wait. Someone said, where do they? Wait, where is it? Is this guy real? Is this guy real? That's look at his fingers. Like, how can you ask that? Um, Well, I'm thankful for my Gucci Lambo, my piles of money, my shoes, my jewelry, and most importantly, my fans. Um, do the Epic Games launcher is going ham on my notifications right now. I need to turn this shit off. Okay. Um, I'm not thankful for my haters. I hope y'all choke on coal. No cap. The emojis are just too much for me. Are you eating are you eating that on a book or something? It does kind of look like that. Is it gonna fuck the chicken? What you bought to do to that turkey? So yeah, you know, baby Yoda was a thing, so of course he turns it into a chain because that's 
that's how he gets views. And then he asks you, what does the chain cost, you know? Um, last chance, should I shave my beard? I honestly loved the beard, but so many of y'all have mixed feelings. Are you haters just jealous because you can't grow a manly beard like me? Wait, go back to the comments? Okay. So he asked how much... Okay. It's not even real. Ew. <laughs> Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not reading this one. I'm not reading this one. Is this a game or something? It costs a few hours of animation. All right. I like that comment. No! <laughs> oh my god, I did it again! Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Let me thank you for letting me know. <laughs> thank you for letting me know. Y'all are real for that. <laughs> Y'all are real for that. Can you try to predict the caption for each pick? Okay, I'm gonna try to predict the caption for the next picture. Um you're gonna have to just trust what I Okay. Okay. I mean I've seen this one. Uh what is the caption of this? Uh it's he he's like I've got that Gucci Tesla Cybertruck. No but no other rapper has this. Just bought the Gucci Cybertruck. The Gucci Cybertruck. Okay. I mean, I I feel like my my caption is pretty pretty close. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, come on. You know, rest in peace Juice World. But he does that. He does that. He someone in real life copied one of his tattoos. That's wild. Oh, I mean, I I could have guessed this one. I just ho 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 ho. Have you been naughty or nice? What do you want for Christmas? It looks so real. A PS5, a lot of Robux, PS5 plus for 10 PS5 plus for 10 years so it saves a lot of money and 10 million dollars to help my future. I can buy the rest with the money I have. I've been nice. Dude, this this kid really went in with the asks. And I can't get mad at him for it. He really is thinking ahead. He said I want PS5 plus for 10 years. Get the bulk deal. I want all the Robux. This is actually kind of kind of funny. I do kind of want to see what these children uh, want for Christmas. Give me the Vapor Max X off white, please. Can I have a new phone? I have the iPhone 4 and I have those old air phones that only work in one air. AirPods or aught pods. I think he meant to say only work in one ear. All I want for Christmas is to meet you. I have bad news. I want Fortnite Minty Pickaxe. Can I get iPhone 11 Pro Max? All right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so he's eating a gingerbread cookie. False information, independent fact check. Oh, I don't know about this one. What's he going to say? Um, Yo, uh, tis the season. No, no, no. Maybe he's going to make a reference to, uh, to Shrek. Um, he's going to be like, Haha, ha, I'm a monster. Some hater just sent me the sweater. God damn it. I wasn't sure if Oh yeah. So um who were the best fit? One, two, or three. Yes. I knew I knew that he's done that type of post a lot. He's done that type of post a lot. Um What is he? What? Oh, wait, we need to talk about this. You want to see my real face? Fine. Happy New Year. Okay, so he is. So, yeah, he's a he's a robot. He <laughs> 
But he can grow a beard, yeah. Why does his mouth not open? Why does his mouth not close? I just got drafted for World War Three. Anyone want to say... Any, wait. Anything you want to say to me before I leave? Is this what the dream song was about? Yeah, this is what the point of the mask is. Oh, wait. Yeah, great point. The metal, the metal chin just disappeared. Wait, let's watch his chin. Oh, the chin, the chin came off with the face. You could kind of see it. Virtual stolen valor. Yeah. Someone said LMAO. This shit is so fake. Um, Just got drafted. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, we got some stolen valor. Let's see what the comments are in here. Watch out for Will Smith. He don't like robots too much. My advice. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that a reference to like... What, what movie is that a reference to? iRobot? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, iRobot. I guess that's what everyone's saying. Oh, no, not G.I. Jane. Don't say that. Um, yeah, why? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Kill them all. Okay. Why? Oh, this is... This, this man is on some stolen Valor shit. Oh, my God. Wait, he said, Why in the hell do you have a helmet on from Nam? They only issue Kelvar helmets in the United States military. Why do you have black pads and sneakers on when you're in uniform? Finally, why do you have jewelry on? In the military, you cannot have jewelry on while in uniform. Dude, people are roasting him for the stolen Valor arc. This is disrespectful. So this, this is a trip. Oh, and he's got Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks on his hoodie. All right, man. Um, virtual reality is way better than real life. What does that mean when it's coming from this character? Make that make sense. That's what I want to know. Who wants to play some VR with me? I This person's commenting a lot. Um... Yeah, is the VR yeah, is VR for him in, the, in real life? Or is it like another there's another layer of VR? What happened with the phone call? Uh we just it the number's been disconnected. Um wasn't he preaching about how good real life is post ago? Yeah, it was a mere month ago that he like went out into the woods. Um I was playing Siren Head in virtual reality. Okay, I don't want to read that. Um I swear you either had heaps of plastic surgery or you're fake or you're real and I'm just tripping. Which is it? Which do we think? I think I think heaps of plastic surgery. Yeah, I think heaps of plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah. Is this guy fake? Because his body don't look real. Just his body. The lore is whatever they feel like, yeah. It's If anything, I think the body looks realer than anything that looks uh, his face part. His mouth does open. Yeah, true. This is about to get so much worse. He uses Fortnite Burger to make his animations. I doubt that. I... I don't know what the hell that is. Nobody go to that website. Uh, because because uh, it could be a scam or steal your... It could be a virus or something. Okay, Kobe, Kobe passing. So, of course, he posts about every, you know, celebrity passing because it's a way to farm engagement. And I say it's a way to farm engagement because he's not a real person. And so, like, you know, he's not doing that as a human being. He can't feel emotions. He, you know, 
But the thing here, the thing that gets me is that right after this, right after this, he posts, should Kobe be the new NBA logo? And he's like, this is gross to me. I think. Yeah, you used his death for clout, bro. Yeah, yeah, agree, agree. Stop chasing clout, you moron. Yeah, I, I, I agree with this. And then he posts about Kobe again. Like, he's just doing this for clout, dude. Yeah, this is literally dystopian. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, this is super, super weird. I'm just going to skip past this. What do you think of my new Cybertruck sneakers made by... This, this is the NFT studio that sponsored him. Um, they just masked the test. It's the same backdrop as w when the Gucci Tesla, but they just like turned it into a Hot Wheel Tesla truck. Um, this is some real 12 year old shit. Yeah. Someone said, uh, it definitely feels very off when people post aesthetic pictures about serious topics like death. Just you wait, just you wait. There's a very iconic moment that happened. There's two iconic things that happened in 2020 on social media um, that we're going to see F and Mecca have a take on. Oh, yeah. Here he is with FaZe. Visiting FaZe Clan offices. Can you do a 360 no scope? Of course, your chair is Gucci. Um, was single for Valentine's Day. Girls don't like robots, but at least TikTok sent me chocolate. Okay, I don't know what this is. He went bald for a second because he got a million followers on TikTok. Your skin looks like you've been embalmed. <laughs> that is like... A very hard roast. <laughs> like, wow. Your skin looks like you have been embalmed. Um, rare insults. Okay, we got one punch man. Before I put my hair back on, I cosplayed this guy. What's my name? Saitama. Okay. So now we're in COVID era, March 2020. Can robots catch cor corona trigger, <laughs> coronavirus? This spreading virus has really made me paranoid. Has the coronavirus spread to your city? Make some virtual ops. <laughs> That's really funny. Corny ain't no way people listen to this trash. You ain't outside for real. But also, this is so, this is fucked. He's got like the gas mask on. And then, so now we're in, in COVID times. So what do you think the post is going to be, y'all? What do you think the post is going to be? I'm just seeing when my food is getting here real quick. Okay, cool. All right. Did you guess at the grocery store when people were buying, buying things up at the store because we didn't know how long we would be in the pandemic? Because that's what he did. 
Why is all the toilet paper sold out? I'm paying $250 per roll. DM me your comment if you have some. This is so... Just thinking about this being posted, like, in the thick of it on uh, in March of 2020 is so fucked up. And also, this photo is from a real, you know, store. So they went into a store and took a photo for this purpose. Or maybe they stole this photo from online, actually, because they've done that before. We could reverse him and search it. I don't feel like it, though. See, drag over an image. Is this going to work? Oh, that did work, actually. Not ready for the BLM post? Well, you're going to have to get ready. Okay. These, the, okay. Uh, I don't, I, I, my initial, I'm not going to do much more research than that. Me watching too much porn during the quarantine. Yeah. 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 Tenth day in quarantine. My symptoms keep getting worse. I've learned my lesson to buy antivirus software. The internet is full of viruses, malware, botnets, key loggers, and many more threats. Hopefully Norton Antivirus cures me before I need a factory reset. Someone said, I just noticed that's a Supreme gown. That's Louis Vuitton, right? <laughs> yeah. By Bitdefender, not Norton or McAfee. I'm on the front cover of Cyber Magazine. They interviewed me about a bunch of stuff. Possibly question me about my makers? Pre-order the magazine to get the details. Okay. Big coincidence, the new Travis Scott skin in Fortnite. I had a robot skull before any rapper did. <laughs> okay, but like, the Terminator? Um, He changed his necklace to hand sanitizer? Yo, oh yeah, he does. does... Okay, he doesn't have it here, so he just had it for that one. Before any rapper, yeah. Um, they put me on famous birthdays. This just feels like the easiest thing for them to animate. So, it's funny, he doesn't even point to the right. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I gotta go. I got out of the, um, the view. I gotta get back there. Okay. Okay. He's like not even okay. pointing or looking in the right place. Real, he's got the real Chick Fil A here, and then he's just eating McDonald's because they already modeled that. And they put an eggplant here for why. What's up? It's Mary Boy Mecca. Um. Uh. Oh yeah, two million followers in less than a year on TikTok. Uh, 
I feel like deleting 2020. Okay. And the black square. Did you have in your bingo cards that F and Mecca posted the black square? Because of course he did. Of course he did. Black lives matter. Watching all this unfold made me realize how broken the system is. How can we advance our society further when we have problems with police and racial issues in 2020? Come on now. We need to stand up together and fight for police reform. The fight won't end until that happens. Keep it going. Stay safe in this crazy world. Stay strong. Oh, yeah. Someone said you could stop saying the N-word. That would be great. Oh, there's the team. <laughs> What's happening? Your boy Mecca over here. About to be eating good. <laughs> With the Chick-fil-A chicken. Oh, oh, those are not Chick-fil-A fries. Those are not Chick-fil-A fries. Those are McDonald's fries. That's what I'm talking about. They didn't want to model waffle fries? Oh. God, what? I found these things chilling. Feed them? Remember his post about saving the turtles? <laughs> what is this? Should I feed them? I stumbled upon this and thought it was me. Okay. Man, mech, it's like damn Daniel. Man, 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 damn Daniel meet man, Mecca. Man, Mecca, how you spinning the shoe like that? Damn, he's from Salt Lake. Crazy. So then he gets 4 million on TikTok. What did this say? Robot not accepted by this world. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. He doesn't have one, does he? I thought we looked for it. Is this CGI or? Oh yeah, then he does this thing where he posts a lot of watches with like famous influencers and stuff inside of them. Fan art. Cake replica of the Gucci AK-47. This looks real. I think this actually happened. We, oh, we've already watched a lot of these TikToks. He's like, what am I cooking? Yeah, that's from a TikTok we saw. Then he hits 5 million. He's just blowing up. Uh, 57 million views on the AirPod gun. I wasn't, exp I didn't, I've never watched the end of the AirPod shotgun video. 
Why does he have 5 million followers? He has 10 million followers. Here's where he got 6 million. See, and then it, literally December 2nd to December 16th went from 6 million to 7 million. Wow, this video got 100 million views. Dude, Tommy is blowing up. It's impressive. It's really impressive stuff. All right, baby girl, Siri, let's pull up Spotify. So I don't understand. Did they take down? Okay, he doesn't have two million listeners, but did they take down all of the other um, songs? I bet a bunch of the views and uh, comments are bots. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that easy to bot on Snapchat or excuse me on a uh, TikTok. Not like to that degree. You know what I mean? I just the numbers on TikTok are just inflated. Like I I've seen tons and tons of people get like b have videos blow up on TikTok. it just happens and this kind of stuff just feels like it fits the algorithm so i'm not super surprised like let me put something in perspective for you brent rivera how many followers on TikTok do you think brent rivera has brent rivera has 44 million followers on TikTok. Like, this is a great, I like the fact that this has 10 million is not surprising because it's, it's eye candy content and it looks like Fortnite. That's not an accident. You know what I mean? Like make it look like Fortnite because the kids are on Fortnite or play Fortnite and make, and then do cool stuff. And then people go, what game is this? This looks cool. Is that real? Is this real? Like, it just, it just makes sense. Like, I'm, I don't think it's that outrageous. Like, I, I don't think it, I think that it's more unlikely that it's faked. I think it's more likely that it's real than it's fake. Um, but it doesn't surprise me that, like, I think that at least 45% of most TikTokers followers are fake. I mean, fake versus, like, not engaged. I don't know where you, like, draw the line there. Um... All right, baby girl, Siri, let's pull up Spotify. My oh, yeah. So so I was I, I was going to ask, like, I don't think that those songs are still up on a Spotify. I think they're like, oh, my food's here. I'll be right back. Um, guess what? I'm dropping a one of one NFT partnership. NFT time. Bro, I don't get it. Are you a human or what, bro? Killing the environment to please your gross ego. Like, this is what's, what's crazy to me. I don't know how much his NFT actually sold for, but I do believe it bid up to like, okay, yeah. He, he sold a super toilet NFT for $6,500. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's watch uh let's watch friend of the show Anthony Fantano's video on F and Mecca while I um while I eat. Fantano actually retweeted my my video um which I thought was very nice. So shout out to shout out to Mr. Fantano. Well, shout out hi. to the internet's busiest music nerd. So uh we've developed a proprietary AI technology that analyzes certain popular songs of a specified genre and generates recommendations for the various elements of the song. This doesn't mean the music is made by AI. This is just a brainstorming device. Do you know what I mean? It's like if you would normally do a, a brainstorming session analyzing the industry, or if you did this by hand, you know, like um, Pandora. Pandora, people thought that Pandora was an AI in terms of how they analyze the music it was like the music genome project or whatever, but they hired people to, to essentially tag songs with a, a bunch of various, um, various, uh, attributes. And then they use that to do the recommendations. So I see that as no different than like doing market research essentially. And it's an AI helper and that's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. 
acting like it's GPT-3 AI when it's just advanced predictive text. I would even say it's it's less than GPT or uh, advanced predictive text. It is. I'm almost imagining a word cloud. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a, a a word cloud of like ideas and concepts. And then they're seeing those ideas and concepts and then writing uh, like sensical lyrics around it with wordplay and stuff. But I don't even think that this. Okay, let me back up. Even if they're doing this, it's a complete fraud. Yeah, it's just an idea generator. Even if they're doing this, it doesn't matter. They're doing this so that they can technically say that it's AI. Because before, the songs weren't actually AI. And then they started marketing FN Mecca as an AI rapper. And there was no actual AI behind it. And so they're like, oh, well, you know, we should uh, probably say, we should probably have some sort of answer for when people ask how AI is involved. So this is a cop-out to me. Lyrical content, chords, melody, tempo, sounds. We combine these elements to create the song. I don't believe you. I, I think that you look at the elements, maybe. But I don't know. This doesn't, like, a, until the entire song is written by AI, GPT-3 style, then I, I don't buy it. Uh, there's probably just like a touch of AI involved sometimes Bingo. in Bingo. either. Ah, he, he's got it. A touch of AI is involved sometimes, maybe. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Like, just so that they can say that it's involved. The fact that it's not even an AI is stupid. Like, come on, go all the way for novelty. Or, and hear me out, lie and get exactly the same result. Get a better result. You get all the press with none of the work. Come on, think, think smart. Rosart. Like, do you remember in that, um, in the, in the interview where, like, in, um, the Genius video where they said w w the, the creators want to, like, stay, like, lie low because FN Mecca gets a lot of hate. And it's like, well, I wonder why. I wonder why they want to lie low. Because if we knew who they were, then we would have a problem with the juxtaposition of F and Mecca and the creators of F and Mecca. What color is your Bugatti? What color is your Bugatti? Um, people really got freaked out about my Andrew Tate impression, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, my apologies. I've, I, I, I never heard my own Andrew Tate impression out loud. I've only heard it in my own head. So when it came out or when the video, when I was listening to the footage from the video, I was like, oh, this actually does sound like him. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is actually a problem. Um, <laughs> But literally all, all I can do is say Bugatti and Hustlers University and just, and I just try to find, and I just try to string together as many. The only other things I know how to say is him are things that are very bad that you shouldn't say. Um, okay. Oh, sparkling water, sparkling water. He, yeah, he has such an interesting accent, which is why, which is actually the only reason that I tried to do it is because I was like, because I like accents. And I was curious and I was, cu and I was curious about how I could make my voice sound like, like him. He's got like a, he's got a mix. He's got a mix of a couple of different accents like he pronounces his R's. A lot of people don't pronounce their R's like he does. He overpronounces them. <laughs> um, but yeah. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking about what I was Oh yeah, yeah, okay, cool. 
tried to F with my car. You don't want the smoke. Season one coming soon. Oh, this is his, like, this is his, there, I think they added lore, like, this is his enemy or something. This is, like, the evil, evil guys. <laughs> Yo, this is weird. Rest in peace, music. We let this abomination happen. Don't take rap away from us. This is so sad. They're throwing tomatoes. I'm genuinely, my mood has improved like 10x since I ate some food. There, people aren't lying when they say food improves your mood. I like the comment. God damn it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave that one liked. I'm going to leave that one liked. Don't take rap, uh, don't take rap away from us. Um, I know, I, I know I liked it. I'm leaving it liked. Imagine I'm flying off a building and my, I'm so glad al that we're almost done with this, by the way. Imagine I'm flying off a building in my PS5 supercar and I'm arm wrestling Vin Diesel and fighting for family while looking for my mom. Oh, oh. He's putting himself in because you... cause Michelle Rodriguez posted about F and Mecca. Why did Michelle Rodriguez post about him? That's so random. Shout out to this dope fan art right here. If you love anime, you recognize one of these characters. Let me know. Drop a comment below. You recognize any of these very recognizable characters. We already watched this one. Y'all like my new whip? I can give my supporters a ride to the Jake Paul fight. If Hello Fellow Children was an NFT selling AI animated celebrity, so sad the links y'all go to to push some shit onto kids. Damn. They are enlightened. Moderna? Come on. What? Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a mask. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I just realized it's a mask. Wow. It took me a second. That's upsetting. I'm trying to find my creators. I just found out I was made at Factory New Robotics and there was four engineers. If you find out who, I'll give you a PS5. I wonder if this is a real... You don't F with black dudes at all. Yeah, for real. Clegg FX is one. True. I want to I wanna look up the actual people who made him after this. I, I, I want to look at some of the people behind it. After. Oh my god, where is the Mecca doll just came? I'm so excited! Hi, I'm Mecca. Wanna play Roblox? Come back. Oh my god, where is the Mecca doll just came? I'm so excited! Hi, I'm Mecca. Wanna this is like the guy from behind the camera has been Benjamin buttoned into a child. The lack of enthusiasm, even when he's yelling, I'm so excited, is palpable. Oh my god! My mecha doll! I'm so excited! Okay, oh my god, Liz, the mecha doll just came! I'm so excited! Hi, I'm Mecha. Wanna play Roblox? Hi, I'm Mecha. Wanna play Roblox? And now here he is with those kids. A couple of kids visited me today. They took my lunch money. Bro, he's smaller than the kids. Like, I know he's kneeling down, but he he looks like a, he's small. He's like the same size as the kids. <laughs> Man just took pictures of kids. Yeah. I wonder if this is like a photo that is, um, that is, wait, hang on. 
Is this going to be like the bears? Where it's just a photo of random kids? Please no. Please let that not be what it is. Oh, thank God. Okay. No, no, no. It's not. Oh, yeah. So Bill and Melinda Gates split. And this is what FN Mecca posted. Which, this is whatever, you know? Oh, isn't the picture behind me? Y'all want to know something wild? And this is, I'll never, uh, this, this will never happen again if I tell you about it. But I got an offer to interview Bill Gates. Um, and I said no, because I think, you know, I think Bill Gates is a weird guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. It was weird. I just don't, I just don't know if I want to, I don't know. What, what will we talk about? I, I have a lot of, I have a lot of thoughts about that, but well, I decided against it. But. But, uh, but young Jarvis, you know, college Jarvis would have flipped his shit. I just, I don't know. It, I think it would just have been an interesting experience, experience, but it didn't seem worth having to kind of sort of go to bat for that decision for the rest of my life. I, I don't think, I don't think it would be worth, worth it. You know what I mean? Um, season one, episode two, FN normal. I think that's the enemy's name, FN normal. And he's got a public account. We got, we got a lot more to. Um. Sorry, I got distracted by the chat. Um, we're gonna look at we're gonna look at a lot of the different things once we catch up. Okay, so FN Normal is like the arch nemesis of the rapper. I guess it's his op, his primary op. <sighs> FN Normal stole my Rolls Royce helicopter. If you spot him, DM me his location. Bussin. Bussin and then like two crossed out eyes. Wonder what he thinks comes out of a shotgun. <laughs> oh, and he's got like a hook shot? Hand? <laughs> yeah, we're all, it seems like the chat is all uh, effing normal team. That was his jerk off hand. Oh, it does. His jerk off hand did kind of look like a hook shot. <laughs> what? With great money comes great responsibility, little Mecca. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. There's so much lore. He got punched back to being a baby. Yeah, because the shell fires with the bullet. That's funny. Bullets don't shoot like that. How can people still think the whole casing flies out of the barrel? <laughs> Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I don't know a lot about guns. Okay, so he hit 10 million in August of 2021. Now, what's interesting to me is that he has not grown a lot in the last year. It has been a year and he's gotten 500,000 new followers. So something stopped working, you know? 
All right, you guys. I'm How have I been at this for three hours? I'm on a mission to. Ar I'm on. I'm on an archivist min mission to archive F and Mecca before someone has to do damage control. <laughs> the novelty wore off. I would agree with that. I also think that. Yeah, yeah. It could be the novelty. It could be the TikTok algorithm. It could be the amount of. Yeah, there's the general attitude towards crypto, saturation of the the market and the space. Yeah, people getting tired of it. I think that there's like a lot of, oh God, <laughs> they're here. The world's first ever digital flavors of G Fuel d designed by me. These NFTs aren't for sale. I'm giving them to 149 fans. I wonder if we can find the um, FN Mecca G Fuel NFT. Do you think we can find the NFT? Because sometimes it's fun to look at like NFTs and see what they, um, oh, is this it? Virtual flavor, ghost pepper. Oh, but we don't have any activity. So it was minted a year ago. Was it never given out? I actually don't know enough about. Or he still owns it. Oh, oh yeah, he still owns it, owned by FN Mecca. So, he owns number one. It is very funny to sell an energy drink NFT. So, this one is on sale for $200. Oh, okay, so this one was minted, and it was transferred 10 months ago. Um... And it looks like the price has gone up. No, it, this is just the sale. Oh, this is just listed. No one's buying this. They listed it for this much. Oh, but it was this much ETH like eight months ago. So the price was very different. Apparently capital dropped him. No way. No way. No way. No way. Let's go, dude. We did it. We did it. I mean, is it wrong that I'm celebrating this? Is that is that wrong? I don't think so. Uh The virtual rapper gets Got canceled. So if if this was a real person, I have to say that if this was a real person, my behavior would be different. You know what I mean? It's different when it's like an NFT shilling artificial character that says the N word that was created by non-black people. Just so that we're clear about why I'm celebrating. Okay. Typo in the title. Thank you. Virtual rapper got canceled. Wait, what did I? Is canceled have two L's? What did I spell wrong? Oh, this title. Oh, yeah, this is funny. Um... Yeah, so this happened 30 minutes ago. This happened today. This happened while we were on stream. I actually think now, now that this has happened, I'm like, do we make a video that's called We Got F and Mecca Cancelled? Do we become, do we sort of, is this our villain arc in the world of F and Mecca? Look, I don't think that I did anything unless I'm quoted in this video. No, I don't think so. But no, people, like, all one had to do was say, hey, have you seen this? We offer our deepest apologies to the blood. Oh, my, I feel so validated right now. Holy shit. Capitol Records severs ties with AI rapper. Still not an AI rapper, but whatever. F and Mecca issues apologies after facing criticism for gross stereotypes. 
We offer our deepest apologies to the black community for our insensitivity in signing this project without asking enough questions about equity and the creative process behind it. Wow. On August 14th, Capitol Records announced that it signed Effin Mecca, a digital rapper and influencer described by the label as the world's first AR artist. Alternate reality? AR artist assigned with a major label. A press release? It could be AI, but I don't know. Augmented reality? Yeah. Yes, correct. Um, a press release from FN Mecca's 2021 publicist described Mecca as an AI-powered robot rapper. Mecca's first single on the label was Florida Water, which featured Gunna and gaming streamer Clix. As of today, FN Mecca is no longer on a major label. Capital has announced that it has severed ties with the rapper. I wonder if he's going to post. I've like been looking at his story all day. So we're going to go look at his story to see if he said anything. Um, we're retweeting this. Called for a formal apology about two hours ago. Okay, well, industry blackout called for a formal apology about two hours ago. I was also on the case team. Why is it doing that? Oh, I'm clicking quote tweets instead of quote tweeting. <laughs> um, well, that was quick. I don't think, I don't know if I should take credit for this or not. Should I? I don't, I'm in the discussion here, okay? You got to make this a video and use that title. Wait, use what title? I don't, I'm not, I don't, definitely not. I, I'm like wondering if I should get 1% credit or 0.5% credit, you know? I, I'm, in, I'm in the discussion. I'm in the discussion, okay? I think that I'm in the, in terms of, okay, I don't want to take, I don't want to take credit. Because, because I didn't, when I, my video didn't even know about the police brutality thing. I'm not, I was never asking for all the credit. I'm saying maybe I had a tiny little bit of a piece somewhere in there. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's go back. Um, maybe ask industry blackout first. Oh, I don't want to ask the actual, no, I don't really think I'm, I don't really think I'm involved in this. No, I'm just, I'm just kind of joking around just cause I was talking about it publicly online. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not an activist. I didn't do anything. I just made jokes about it online. Um, I think I was just in the discussion. You know what I mean? Um, it's wild that they dropped him. Uh, click the has been criticized. The project has been criticized. Okay, so this is... I mean, also... Oh, there we go. Wait, that says 20... That was, that was at midnight. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's crazy. The, okay, wait, I got to go back to this pitchfork thing. I, so that we're clear, I'm not taking any credit whatsoever. All I'm saying is that I learned about it from someone sending it to me, DM. Then we talked about it. So we're just in the public. It's the public discourse. Anyway, um, any claiming of credit for me is a joke. It's it's uh, it's just for the bit. Um, CMG, Cap uh, Capital Music Group, has severed ties with the FN Mecca project effective immediately. The label noted in a statement, we offer our deepest apologies to the black community for our insensitivity signing a project without asking enough questions about equity and the creative process behind it. We thank those who have reached out to us with constructive feedback in the past couple of days. I'm like wondering if I should have clicked to see if he deleted the police brutality post. We'll do. But I'm, um, I was, uh, I'm, th this is not a visually appealing, um, a visually appealing thing to retweet. I, I was like, but it is the, what the, 
what the pitchfork thing sourced. So, cause I was like, I could just post the pitchfork article, but whatever. It, it's a tweet. It's a tweet. I get too in my head about how tweets perform. Let's not do that. Um, D dot Omen. Oh, I did see that D dot Omen talked about it. Um, D dot Omen seems to have tipped off industry blackout, which then tweeted Capitol Records. F in normal for the for the win. Yeah. Um. Okay. Invaluable as we can decision in our association with the product. Uh, the project has been criticized after clips went viral. The project using the N word in a song. Multiple songs, actually. People also pointed out that the image, yeah, 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 Mexican account is being brutalized by the police. I did not know about that. And, it, and it's because the account's private. So they, to some degree, they're kind of like, you know, yeah. Just hours before Capital made the announcement, the activist group Industry Blackout released a statement calling for the label to cut ties with FN Mecca. It specifically noted Gunna's involvement with the project while being incarcerated on RICO charges. We talked about this. Um, the indictment specifically cited Gunn and Young Thug's lyrics. The statement reads, we should read the statement. Let's, can we read it here? Is it more legible here? Yeah. Industry blackout. Um, dear Capital Records, it has come to our attention that your company has decided to partner with Factory New on signing the artificially designed rapper. I think that's a great way of putting it. Artificially designed quote unquote rapper F and Mecca. Like that is very concise accurate way of of not kind of giving the credit that the rapper the rapper is real do you think his tiktok will be banned absolutely not i do not think that i could be wrong but this is more yeah yeah um while we applaud innovation and in tech that connects listeners to music and enhances the experience we find fault in the lack of awareness in how offensive this caricature is. It is a direct insult to the black community and our culture, an amalgamation of gross stereotypes, appropriative mannerisms that derive from black artists complete with slurs and views and lyrics. Absolutely correct. This digital eff effigy, this digital effigy is a careless abomination and disrespectful to real people who face real consequences in real life. Facts. For example, Gunna, a black artist who is featured on a song with F and Mecca, is currently incarcerated for rapping the same type of lyrics without robot mimics. That's a great, great call out. The difference is your artificial rapper will not be subject to federal charges for such. For your company to approve this shows a serious lack of diversity and a resounding amount of... Um, so the phrase tone deaf, I think there's a more... Uh, um, there's a better phrase to use nowadays, but let's just say uh, leadership lacking in awareness. Um, because like tone deaf can be viewed as like, yeah, out of touch. Let's say out of touch. Yeah, because tone the phrase tone deaf can be ableist, um, or ignorant. It's really good too. Resounding amount of yeah, inconsiderate. Great option. Unaware. All great options. Um, amount of of ignorant tactless leadership this is simply unacceptable and will not be tolerated <laughs> god cassidy yeah um we demand this partnership be terminated Ooh, we demand i didn't know you could do that i should do that more i should demand things that's sick that's actually dope as hell we demand this partnership be terminated a formal public apology be issued f and mecca removed from all platforms okay i don't know about that furthermore all money i mean I don't know about that in terms of I don't know that these platforms will adhere, you know, to, to something like that. And also Capitol Records doesn't have the governance, doesn't have the ability to do anything to these platforms. FMECA removed from all platforms. Furthermore, all money spent by Capitol Records and Factory New for this project will be allocated to charitable organizations that directly support black youth and the arts, as well as marketing budgets for black artists signed to Capitol Records. We look forward to... Damn, that's a good statement. That's a good statement. I wonder if they'll do that. 
Um, ugh. Let me see if Industry Blackout actually... Uh, I'm going to follow Industry Blackout. We did it, Joe. Um, have you lost your effing minds? That's funny. Get specific? Okay. I mean... This is a weird take. Gunna being locked up for his lyrics is the main issue y'all have with this? Wait, that's not the main issue at all. That was merely a sort of illustration of the problem with, like, commodifying and, and sort of mocking the culture that an AI cannot take part, take part in. Is the brutality thing still up? Well, sh let's hit refresh, shall we? Refresh. Still there. Let's check the story. All right. Let's, uh, ooh, okay. Let me go over here. Just to show you what I'm up to. What do we think? I don't want to... The thing is, if I'm mean, then they'll never respond. Alright, you guys. I'm teaming up with G Fuel. I created... Wait, whoops. I lost my place. Alright, you guys. I'm teaming up with G Fuel. I created these NFTs right here, and we doing... Oh, I should have given a strong arm emoji. You're right. Hey guys, my NFT is on live auction on TikTok. Someone said gorillas rip off. AI rapper does cash grab. So people were turning on him pretty early. TikTok creator and virtual rapper FN Mecca proved that robots are real then broke the internet also this like typesetting is very hard to read then the broke internet and then the leftmost word here is robots robots proved that are real robots proved are that real Oh yeah, this is the 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 cooking the chopping cucumbers thing. That is the the NFT. My NFT already has a sixteen thousand dollar bid. Let's can we find this? Such a legend. Shout out Capitol Records twenty three hours ago. Um how do we find this one? How do we find this one? Uh, FN Mecca NFT Cucumber. Can someone who knows more about NFTs help me find like the OpenSea thing for this NFT? Oh, I guess I could go back to... Oh, okay, wait. Robot rapper not accepted by this world. These are collected, created. Oh. Um, 
the real Iron Chef. Here it is. Minted. Oh, but it was transferred, so we don't get to see how much it sold for. Damn. I don't know enough. I don't know enough about NFTs for that. Because uh, I want to see how much it sold for. Lincoln bio to win $350,000 NFTs. I'm hosting Squid Games. I wonder if that ever happened. The Squid Game with the board ape. Big Sean liked it. Sean. Big Sean. Come on, Big Sean. Boy. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, I saw Big Sean like this post, and all I can say is, Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa. Um, oh, Upload is that show by, uh, was it, uh, Mike Schumacher? Greg Daniels from The Office. Mike Schur. I don't know why I said Schumacher, but it's Greg Daniels from The Office. I was like, who from The Office made this show? But, you know, that was a brand deal. What's up, Nora? Hi. Oh, dude, this is another upload thing. There's so much. This got 500K views. They must have put ad money behind this. They must have put. Michael Schumacher is the F1 driver. That's why I was like, I know Mike Schur. I don't know. Because Mike Schur was also um, Moe's, uh, Dwight's cousin Moe's, right? Yeah. That ruins upload for me. Uh it shouldn't. They're not the creators of the show aren't usually behind the the marketing. His voice? No, like the person. Like like his actual body as well. What's up, no? Hi. I'm oh, his voice. His yeah. voice. I see what I you mean. Just about the Ugh. I'm so glad you picked up. Yeah, I was just about to upload into the metaverse. I just wanted to. Oh God, that's like a different voice actor, and I hope to God it's a black person. Her... Also, his um, his thumb, his like thumb looks turned around. Like you see how his thumb is out. Like if my like. It's like, it feels like too much out. I don't know, but maybe I'm nitpicking. To call and remind you that Upload you launches on. What's good, Nathan? Say hi. Hey. What are you telling him? Well, I was just about to tell him about our amazing oh. show, Upload. He sounds. This thing got a... oh. I mean, I hope it's not. I hope it's an actual black person and not someone doing. Doing the, oh man, all black people sound like this. What's up, Upload fam? You know what I mean? Like I fucking hate that shit. Switch. Check out our show Upload only on Prime Video. Dude, he is getting crazy, crazy brand deals. And, and the fact that these are getting 500k views.
So between April and July, he didn't post. Because, yeah, brand deals don't blow up naturally. Brand deals just don't perform well usually. They lighten his skin tone, especially on the cop post. Yeah, I don't want to personally compare the skin tone between the cop post and the other post. Oh, he looks so much paler here. But I am concerned that they looked at it with him with a darker skin tone and were like, oh, we should lighten this up or else it's going to look bad. Maybe he has a different 3D model each post. That wouldn't make sense. They reuse so much stuff. Like, because it's the most they're doing the minimum work they possibly can so it's like okay let's use reuse all the models that we've made but it's also like his lighting doesn't like he's not lit to the environment yeah like like what is the explanation between his skin tone here in here like he's illumin his skin is illuminated here the blue checks hyping him up yeah dude that's the blue check thing on the i mean i am a blue check also but like you ever look at po people's posts and then it's just all like if you go to drake's instagram it's the weirdest thing i mean i want uh champagne poppy Like if Drake posts something and then it's just all the vir viral or viral um, verified accounts just going claps, fire, you know, like this one's going to be all laughing emojis, I bet. Oh, I mean, they're there. Yeah, they're there. There they are. There they are. So do you remember when I did the troll thing to get a response? T.Y. Jarvis, honestly... It's algorithms controlling people. Um, new pronoun just dropped. Is that a, I don't know. Is that a joke I can make? I don't, I don't, I don't want to make that joke if I can't make it. Um, but uh, it, it wasn't a punch down joke anyway, but um, anyway, it's like a, it's like a pronoun for robots type joke, but you know, let's, let's just, let's just pass on it. T.Y. Jarvis, honestly, it's algorithms controlling people. Effin Mecca is made by a black lady and an Asian guy with a black voice. What does that mean? Like, he has, like, a black voice, like, a third person who's, like, the... Who's the voice? Or are they saying the Asian guy has a black voice? Because I hope that's not what they're trying to say. Racist reporters just want to report clickbait. Literally, we've told reporters this and they ignore it just to get headlines. It de it's desperate and sad society we live in now. That reply made it worse, lol. Yeah. So, so remember when I said I'm doing this for content? So we do a little trolling for content. What is this? I don't even know what to make of this. Who's writing the replies to me? I don't know, dude. I don't even want to think about it. I wonder what the... I think this is probably going to start the beginning of the uh, the alt right conservative pipeline for Mecca. Um. Also, did it say Effin? Like it says Mecca virtual rapper, but did it say Effin Mecca before? Like, did he take Effin out of his name? Like, I don't know. I I, I actually. 
I have a screenshot, I think. Let me look at my other screenshot. I mean, I just hope he doesn't look at any other other platform that I'm on because then the jig is up. The Asian guy with black voice. Yeah, I know. I that's uncharitably, that's my fear. That's my fear. Um make a burner account. Here's the thing. He's not gonna reply to um he's not gonna reply to I'm verified and stuff on um on Instagram, so I think that's why he's replying to me and why he followed me back. Twitter on private, maybe? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do shit for Ep and Mecca, man. I if if the jig is up, the jig is up, you know? Like I, I think it's I think it's fine. Like I don't think we need more I don't think we need more information. Yeah, I it was seen this. Yo, what's up guys? I'm in Brooklyn. Check out this view. So we got is that FN Mecca? Yo, Mecca. Mecca, wake up. Giant Mecca. Roomba. Yo. Yo, Mecca, wake up. Yo, Mecca. Oh, and this is with, is that clicks? Oh yeah, that's weird. They, they did this post with hashtag free gunna and then they like digitally put him in the studio, which is very weird to me. You know, are you going to try to get an interview? I don't know if I could conduct an interview without kind of giving the game away that I'm like not a fan. You know what I mean? Yo, this is getting worse. Lady, lady came up with idea. Asian modeled it to give a rapper a voice. It's a simple business cooperation LMAO. Rapper is black, as you can tell by his voice. As you can tell by his voice. I don't know why people can't tell. The Asian's voice is lighter. Self-report. Lady somehow sounds derogative. Yeah. And then he said, he just said, but it's fine. People just want clout and rather report false narratives. I'm kind of speechless. I don't understand how they don't feel weird writing this. It's wild how fast they reply. 
this person doesn't understand that the content is problematic regardless of whose idea it was. Agree. Agree. I'm trying to think of if there's anything... If there's anything um, else that I should say. You handed them a sandcastle and they pulled over out a bulldozer. Yeah. His morals are bouncing off the walls for real. I'm so glad I'm witnessing this live. I kind of can't believe it. I genuinely can't believe what is happening right now. Like it's turned out so like, I don't like, I kind of feel like uh, there's nothing more that I can get out of this. Not, not there's nothing more that I can get out of this. Like, like, even when I went to um, go take Dipper to the vet, I was like, certainly they'll see my story and realize I've been posting about them, or they'll look into who I am and they'll unfollow me. But no, they let me archive the whole Instagram. They told on themselves in the DMs. They DM'd back with me. Um, I mean, maybe they just want their story to be heard, but I don't want to talk to them. Do you know who's behind the account replying to you right now? Also, are they like replying in character? I, I don't know. It's like a mix. Will you respond to him? I just don't know what to say it's like they literally want to give you fodder for a video yeah this is kind of turned into a i think a gold video i think we'll put out the whole the whole investigation on live but i think that there's definitely like gold video to have you're probably the only one to reach out to them directly that's why i reached out the way that i did when i was like um when i was like like even like you would think when i the police, I, I opened with the police brutality post, you know? And I said, instead of being like, answer for yourself or whatever, I said, yo fam, what happened to this post? They didn't realize that the post wasn't visible, maybe, I, that I was talking about the post not being visible. Wait, I'm still kind of confused. Is he for sure saying a third person who's a black voice actor? Uh, what he's saying is the Asian dude does the speaking voice. And he's saying a black dude does the music. Do you think they're legit ignorant on how wrong they are? Kind of. I mean, like, in a bad way. In a bad way, I think they're ignorant. Um, but like I opened, I opened with fam, what happened to this post? And they're like, I got out of jail. And so they, then I was like, oh, okay. But the speaking voice is the one you call the caricature. Yeah. I mean, we knew the whole time that the, it was a black person singing. Yeah. I don't think they understand how it's an e-minstrel show. Because, yeah, Kyle the hooligan, I think. I don't think they understand that because there's not... I don't know if this black woman... We've not seen... The, they've shown this team a ton of times and it's been mostly white dudes and the, the Chris Lee dude and his brother. Maybe the voice they mean is a cameraman on the TikToks. I think they mean the, the Mecca voice. Like, we've heard him speak before. Like, in the interview in the Genius video. Can you double check the police brutality post? Yeah. Uh, um, I think I have it linked here. Whoops. Yeah, still up. Still up. Um, I'm trying to... I don't want to ask, like, random... I don't want to ask random questions. I kind of want to get to the bottom of. I'm like trying to think if there's anything that I want to ask.
Yeah, sorry, I'll change. Um, hmm. I mean, I kind of want to ask, uh, is this black lady in the room with us right now? Yeah. I kind of want to ask if the person... No, I don't, because I think they're not going to want to respond to me if I ask them to, like, dox themselves, basically, to say who they are. Um... Yeah, they've got the token black person, so they think everything's okay. Um... I'm running low on energy. But I, I think I'm going to bounce back. I just. Start the big brain plays. I feel like I've already done my big brain plays. I got them to rat on themselves. That's content. I led with innocuous questions. Yeah, I mean. I mean, that's the. You keep it open ended. Don't let them know what your, you know, intentions are. Let them shoot themselves in the foot. Dig their own hole. So which part of the team are you is good? I'm just going to say, damn, man, that's a real shame. I said, damn, man, that's a real shame. What's your role on the team? Like, are you going to be good? Which, I mean, that's uh, coming from an honest place. Again, like, my problem is, my problem is not with the, um, I mean, my problem is a little bit with the individuals, but, but I, more about the brand. And so I do want to extend genuine empathy to the person who is actually running the account even though I don't think that they see the problem with their actions. So, um, cause the issue is with the, the sort of institution, right? Like, um, like there's a bunch of individuals who are, uh, there's a bunch of individuals who together came up with a very bad idea. And now the momentum of this very bad idea is kind of driving a lot of their decisions and stuff. And I don't think it's up to me to like demonize the individuals, but I obviously take issue with the actual, the actual thing. Okay. Yeah, it could be a literal kid. True. All right, let's finish this up. Okay, also, for the first time ever, a robot rapper has recorded. Damn, life comes at you quick, huh? <laughs> deal fn mecca just signed with capital records his debut single florida water my deal with capital records making the rounds on news and blogs am i about to take over the music industry and then all the blue checks epic
Oh, this is Sophia. Wait, I'm a I'm familiar with this is the robot, Sophia. I'm familiar with this. Someone spinning a bag on PR. I actually don't know how much is like earned media versus paid media here. Jarvis says a tech guy, can you tell us if reporting his account can actually do anything? I mean it's Instagram. I don't know. I I I mean, I you you could report the police brutality post, but I mean, now that things are kind of archived, like it would be a shame if that thing went down before we like ha actually had sort of provenance that it was real. Don't tap the glass chat, yeah. Um. Florida Water hit a million streams. Which, I mean, that kind of blows my mind. I don't know if that's like, if that's some record label like stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, did you and then I did see this crazy bone from, uh, uh, fucking, wait, crazy bone from not Bone Thugs and Harmony, right? Wait, who's, where, where's, oh God, this is embarrassing. Oh, it is Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I almost lost my black card. All right, I think we're caught up. I don't think he's posted on the story. Um, You a thief, that's not very nice. Made it on TMZ. I think his other post, I, I screenshotted a post of his, but. All right, well. Um, let's, oh, let me see if he replied. Oh, he just said, yeah, I'm good. I'll just say, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm kind of done here. I'm just going to say, all right, be easy. Take care. I think that's, I think that's the end. We, we learned a lot. We learned a lot today. The song was taken off Spotify. Oh, wait, we got to check. It, it's gone. You can't listen to it on Spotify. Damn. Damn. He's in trouble. Uh oh. Uh oh. We, this is over the last four hours of when I started the stream, we have really been on a journey, haven't we? <laughs> uh oh. Dude, Point Crow. Dude, we, the past four hours have been wild. We we went down the whole effing mecha rabbit hole. We went through every Instagram post. And then an hour ago or 30 minutes ago, they got uh they got dropped from their record label. And then I DM'd them and they responded. And they were very bad at the responses. Very bad at the responses. Um, oh, I don't have the other one up. Oh, yeah, here, here. Like, I'm all caught up with Jarvis Johnson Gold, and I've just been following the tweets. Yeah, well, so, um, I mean, here, let me just pull up the, the conversation I had with F and Mecca. Just, uh, like, as we wrap up here. Okay. So, all right, so this, our story begins. I was still trying to find out about this post and whether or not it was real. This is before F and Mecca followed me, which happened. All of this happened on Instagram. F and Mecca made no effort to look into who I was at all. 
Um, I, uh, I deleted the references to the post about Evan Mecca from my story, just in case. And then this is our conversation. So I was trying to find out if this was real. They ended up following me back. Uh, Hey, what happened to this post? I'm released now. Hold zero hate. I'm a changed robot. Why is there a person responding in character to DMs? I don't know. I said, happy to hear it. Welcome back. They sent the heart. And then we went on, we went on the stream. We watched the whole, looked at the whole Instagram thing, yada, yada, yada. We found out the news that Epin Mecca was dropped by Capitol Records and they issued an apology because of the racism. Um, I think he just responded because I'm verified. Yeah. And so again, I said, Hey fam, I just heard the news. You'll bounce back from this stronger than ever. Why am I being like this? Well, because I want to keep the conversation open and see if I learn any more information. T Y Jarvis, honestly, it's algorithms controlling people. FN Mecca is made by a black lady and an Asian guy with a black voice. Racist reporters just want to report clickbait. Literally, we've told reporters this and they just <laughs> ignore it to get headlines. It's desperate and sad society we live in now. I, we, we, as a chat had a question about the Asian lady, or excuse me, the black lady and the Asian guy with the black voice. Is it an Asian man who sounds black or an Asian guy? Or, or is there a separate black guy? Like, is there a third guy? Because we know that there's a black dude who does the, the musical part. But what is this about this Asian man who has a black voice? So I asked a clarifying question. Ha ha. You know, I want to seem inviting. Ha ha. Like an Asian dude that sounds black or a voice actor. Lady came up with idea, Asian, not Asian person, Asian modeled it to give a rapper a voice, to give a rapper a voice. It's a simple business cooperation. So that's two people that he's mentioned. And then rapper is black, as you can tell by his voice. And then he just keeps going. I don't know why people can't tell the Asian's voice is lighter. Crying laughing emoji. But it's fine. Whoops. But it's fine. People just want clout and rather report false narratives. Now, at this point, yeah, I say, damn, that's a real shame. Um, what's your role on the team? Like, are you going to be good? Because honestly, like, uh, I don't mean any ill will to the like individuals like working. I don't think the person responding to like DMS is the mastermind behind everything. I mean, but maybe they are, but anyway, my issue is with like the corporation, um, the NFT shilling, uh, character rather than like the, the person. And they said, yeah, I'm good. And I just said, all right, be easy. Take care. So that's the end of the story, but they kind of self-reported a lot. Um, so with that, we've gone through every post. We keep refreshing the police brutality post to see if it still is up, which apparently it still is because they don't know. They don't know what's wrong. Let me click the link again. Still there. Wild that it's still there. Um, and then... What else? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what I was going to say. But yeah, so I mean, F and Mecca is being silenced. The emotes of Ono, what should I do? Yeah. So I completely lost my train of thought, but. 
this saga is over for today for me. Oh, right. And then like we, we checked and the, um, the post is gone uh, or excuse me. The song is gone. Has click said anything? Doesn't appear so. Does he still have his post about? No one's down there, bro. Dude, this guy has the worst audio mixing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is, but um, uh, am I gonna tweet the DMs? Probably. Uh, but I, 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 ha I would have to give enough context. So what am I doing? Um, clicks. Did we look up Anthony Martini? Um, we didn't. I've just been so long. I made a song with Gunna. So this is still here. All right. Clicks is very much an Andrew Tate follower. Why am I not surprised? He's 17. I'm I'm sort of leaving him out from from all of this. Um, I'm just kind of curious if he's addressing addressing it. Ball by F and Mecca, of course. Okay. Um. All right. And with that, with that, let's listen to F and Mecca's verse on Florida Water one last time. Stay gold, everybody.